I'm Billy S, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're playing a little bit more Dark Souls Remastered Randomizer items, enemies, and bosses, and I have a new webcam. If you can tell, a little bit more high quality. I'm very excited for this. I decided, you know what? You guys want to see more challenge runs. Why don't I invest? Get myself a nice webcam so I can make the highest quality videos I can for you guys. And today, we're gonna go down to Blight Town. So I wanna head down to Blight Town because I feel like it is just the natural next location for us. We've already covered Darkroot. The only thing we can do there now is kill Calamy, which I could do. I'm just not necessarily feeling it in the moment. So instead, what I'd rather do is go down to Blight Town because aside from maybe the catacombs, Blight Town is the only other place I can really go, and I'm not feeling my confidence when it comes to the catacombs at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run our way down to where the Blight Town entrance is, and we are just gonna see what the heck we are dealing with. I don't know what we'll be dealing with. It honestly scared. <laughs> So we're gonna go down to Blight Town, and we're gonna go and see what's going on in Blight Town. I'm pretty sure I have picked clean the parish, I have picked clean the undead burg, I have picked clean Darkroot. Like, I'm 90% sure I've gotten everything I need to get in Darkroot. Ooh, you scare me. You scare me, my man. I've already killed the Taurus demon over here, so I don't have to worry about that. It would be nice to find the key that opens the new Londo shortcut, that would be, honestly, iconic behavior of the highest order, but we don't really have that option right now. So we just have to hope that our excursion into Blight Town ends in happiness. Now we are going through the back entrance, which for me is the easier entrance to go through to begin with. And if we're lucky, we're gonna have some pretty easy enemies to handle there. Normally, there are a lot of those toxic dart blowers and dogs that breathe fire. I am honestly excited that we are not going to be dealing with those. I'm excited that there is a chance we're going to deal with some incredibly easy opponents. So let's have a look and see just what we're dealing with. I think I see one of the worms. No? No. Okay, we have a clam. We have a clam and a mushroom man. All right, that was solid damage. Really happy with that. You know what, the Giant's Halberd? Coming in clutch. Actually coming in clutch. Ow. Little Mushroom Boy, not coming in clutch. Oh, the damage. You know what, weapons that do alternative damage outside of like your regular slashing, thrusting, piercing, whatever, are fabulous. Electricity damage in this game? Gorgeous. Stunning. Fabulosity. Gorgina. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's one of you. It's a big guy. I've been wondering where you guys have been. You know, usually we see those guys up in Sens. We see them in other locations. Very rare to see them here. I am... Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho. We're in Blight Town. We are officially in Blight Town. This is going to be... A slow descent for me. Are you... You're safe? Something has just fallen off. Brilliant. Painting guardian gloves. Didn't need those, but thank you very much. Anything down here? No, but there's something down here. No, why are there... Why you? Okay, let me... Oh, that's not good. That wasn't a lot of damage. Uh, let's just climb down. No, we're not going to climb down. We're going to die. Okay. 
Love that for you. Love that for you. I sense I might need to put some armor back on. Let's pop the Xanthus gloves in and let's put the skirt on. I mean, honestly, I'm looking beautiful. It's just I roll like shit. Maybe I just have to embrace the fact that I'm gonna be a tank. Maybe I just have to embrace the fact that I am a big boy. And big boys, they don't get to roll out of the way of enemies. They have to just deal with the fact that they're big boys. They're stronger than everyone else. And with that comes its own set of very difficult challenges that we have to overcome. Anyway, let me stop two-handing this. There's a chance I could just block these guys' attacks. I don't know if it would necessarily do anything, but... Okay, that wasn't an instant kill. We love that. Oh no, this is not good. This is really bad. Those specific enemies I think are going to be like my kryptonite because I do not know how to handle them. I do not know the safest way to deal with them. So let's get back to Blight Town. Let's try that area again. All I need to do is get down into the swamp. Once I get down into the swamp, I'm pretty safe to deal with whatever has replaced Quaylag. I have no reason to go back up to the surface. I've got no way to get back up to the surface. We're gonna have to take a very long path if we ever wanna go back to Firelink. So why should I worry? Oh my God, no, I'm too slow. I can't do this. I can't do this. I, it's too slow. Okay, Ornstein's helm, unequip. Immediately rolling faster. Ah, oh, that's so sad. I love my Ornstein helmet. That is actual tragedy that I'm not allowed to wear it because it's just too heavy. I'm just too thick and juicy with that helmet on. That is heartbreaking scenes in the middle of the Valley of the Drakes right there. Nope. Let's just go and kill Calamy. Let's just, let's see. I don't remember if Calamy is weak or strong to electricity. I don't know. Let's just, let's just go kill, let's just, let's just try that one. Let's just, let's just have one go. Go on, breathe fire, breathe fire, go on. Maybe not. Maybe that wasn't the strategy. Ha, ah, what do I do? What do I do? I feel like I've hit a little bit of a roadblock, you know? I feel, I feel like I'm just, I'm just not giving what needs to be given right now, which is very frustrating. One more go at Calamy, and then I'm gonna go just back down to Blight Town, and we can, we can try Blight Town again, and I will just, maybe I'll just try running past the, the, the clam, I don't know. Ah! Yeah, I'm not, ah! I'm not fast enough. Back to Blight Town. We're gonna try Blight Town again. I, I, I feel very trapped. I don't want to change my weapon because I feel like my weapon is honestly my strongest asset right now. I just, I need these guys to just not exist, quite honestly, because they are a pain in my backside. Okay, if my 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 single hits also stagger then, okay, that's not a problem. Okay, I can handle you with my, I can handle you with my, my little hits, my R1s, with my light attacks, you as well. All right, big boy, heavy. A single heavy attack is enough. Yeah, easy, okay. Problem is just surviving. If I get hit by the big boy down there even once, I'm dead. Can I drop off here and still be safe? Yep, okay, we are good. What is below us? Another skelly dog, cool, love that. Love that for you, Diva. Thank you. We're good. We're down here. 
that's a plus. What have we got over there? We've got a hoplite. We've got a humanity. We've got a shrub. Oh, we have a channeler. That's not good. Didn't need a channeler there, not gonna lie. We've got um, one of those dark mage ladies, which we also did not need. All right, we are safe at the moment from the channeler. And this attack is gonna finish him off. There we go. What is that? That's everything. That's lovely. Love that for me. Love that we are just coalescing every single person here. A part of me wants to kind of just drop down and grab what would normally be the Firekeeper soul without bothering, like, to stay alive. I just feel like if I drop down there and I grab this now, I'll it, it'll be safer for me. Large soul, canvas talisman. I will take that. That's not bad. And dead. Dead. Yeah. 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 I, I just... I freeze up in these moments. I freeze up. I don't really know how to speak. I just f go into focus mode. And then I die. But... On the plus side... That's all the items I needed from there. So I'm not going to get distracted. I'm not going to collect any other items. I'm not going to collect 200. I'm not going to pass go. I am just going to get to the bottom of Blight Town, get that bonfire, and whatever happens, happens. I would love to find out who has replaced Quaylag today. Maybe even defeat that boss if it's one of the easier ones. Like if it's like Pinwheel or something, heck yes. If it's something like Manus, I'll go cry in a corner. But we are we are going to get down to the bottom of Blight Town today. I am not stopping this recording until we are in those swampy depths dealing with poison. I know that there's like extra stuff around there. I do not feel like right now that is within the cards. Anyway, where is a uh, Senor Skelly dog that's here? Did he die? He must have died. Or he was one of the, oh, he might have been one of the toxic ones, so he doesn't respawn. That would be nice. I would not complain about that. That would be tasty as fuck. So let us head here. We have a little survey of what we're dealing with. Yeah, there's like that little, that little route over there that we can cross, and there should be some items over there. What is below us right now? Because I believe there is an enemy down there. Okay, it actually is just a tree root. That works for me. All right. We're having a pretty clean run so far. I know there are some items over here. I realize I have already gotten distracted. But I genuinely think it's the smart choice. I genuinely think this is the smart choice. Ignoring that fucker up there, obviously. Who is now behind me. Oh god. Oh god, he's behind me, isn't he? Ah! Sunlight blade. What's in here? Come on, come on, come on. Gold coin. Not worth it. Can you get in here? Yes, you can. At least being up... Okay. I was going to say, at least being up there, he can't hurt me, and then he hurt me. So you know what? We're not going to talk about that. I'm going to roll over here. I'm going to kill this slime. Because my electricity makes them surprisingly easy to kill. I'm going to check if there's any items over here that would like to be removed. No. No. It would make sense if there was, like, a shortcut here. Like, I feel like there originally was supposed to be a shortcut there. And it just never got implemented into the game. Go back down. Back across the tree route. Let's not fall.
All right, Diva. It's time for you to let me pass. Thank you very much. I am very grateful you let me by. Okay, we are back where I wanted to be. This time we're just gonna go down the water wheel. We're not gonna fuck around. We're not gonna attack anything except the things that we need to attack. We're just, we're just gonna play it safe. Literally as, as safe as I can possibly play it. I'm gonna take zero risks and I'm gonna hope that when I get down on this beautiful water wheel, that we have a good time. There we go. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that's not a good combo already. Okay. I got rid of her. Love that. Love that for me. Honestly, we stand. I kind of like that I can see... Oh, it's Shiva, right. I need to have a chat with him. It is very important that I have a chat with him. But first things first, I need to... No, no, no. I was gonna say, first things first, I need to get that bonfire. If I die down here, I am going to cry. Lower undead berg, dude. I'll take that. I know that certain enemies replace like the mosquitoes that constantly respawn, but I don't think their uh, their AI will be able to uh, handle actually following us that much. Okay, we've got our bonfire. I'm gonna rest at the bonfire. I'm gonna go check what is in the chest over here. It's not a mimic, we love that. I don't know if the mimics have been randomized, so. Barbed straight sword, okay, that's not what I needed. I'm personally, quite interested in any form of key or key item or anything really that could uh, help me to uh, not almost immediately die in the swamp. What do you have? What do you have? Please tell me you have good shit. Okay, Twin Humanities, 3000. Soul of a Proud Knight. White Titanite Slab for Divine Weapons. Iron Legging, Symbol of Avarice. Honestly, not bad. Uh, fire Defense and Rare Ring of Sacrifice. Okay, cool. Let me buy you. I'll buy you. Y y th that's not worth it. Um, I'll buy you. I see. I do have a sharp eye for trinkets. I like trinkets. I like your trinkets, sir. I think they're fab. Like, the white titanite slab, sure, I'll get that as well, just to be safe. I want you. I don't need you. Um, I'll take you too. Of course I will. Learn gesture. Okay. I'm good. I'm happy. There is no way we're going to be getting to Quaylag without being poisoned. I think I just have to kind of accept that. And we'll just have to see what's in there and see if we can kill Quaylag before, uh, before anything goes even more horribly wrong. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run around. I'm not even gonna, oh, you hit hard. All right, calm down, calm down, calm down. I don't know why I'm not moving. I don't know why I stopped running there. That was very odd. Roll forwards, just in case anything's following me. Okay. What have we got in here? What are we dealing with? What enemies have replaced the eggies? Uh, worm and you. Okay, I can handle you too. That's fine. Oh, right, yeah, because you'll be passive because you won't attack me. Perfect. Okay, in that case, I am going to, on my little hot bar, I'm going to equip a, di a divine blessing. 
and I'm just going to go in, and we're going to see who we're dealing with. We are dealing with... Ceaseless Discharge? Iron Golem? Uh... I am... I'm not sure. I see fire. Which makes me think, like... What, what are you? It's not Centipede. I've already... Bed of Chaos? Oh, it's Iron Golem. Okay, so it's Iron Golem, but we have, like, the, uh... The Chaos Quitch Quaylag. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh my god, he, sh he he attacks further. Holy shit. Okay. Honestly, this is actually good news, because this is a boss I can kill. This is a boss I can kill. Yes. No! Unless he does his fucking grab, in which case I can't avoid that grab. Okay, my reaction speed is awful. I, like, it actually is genuinely awful right now. I, I need to, I need to, I need to lock in. As the kids would say, if I don't lock in, then I'm going to be locked out. All right, let's just play it safe. The last thing we need is to piss off the the Iron Golem, right? I need to avoid that grab. That grab is easily his most dangerous attack. All right, let's, let's back off a little bit, back off a little bit. Give him a little bit of time, let him reacclimate. Because the good thing is, due to the amount of damage I'm doing, we don't even have to knock him over. Which is... Ideal, but I'm dead. Oh no, okay. Alright, cool. That should have been an easy win for me. That should have been an easy win for me, but as I am learning, I do not remember the movesets of any of these bosses to the extent that I thought I did. And as such... I am suffering in a hilarious way, and I hope that you are enjoying said suffering. Anyway, let's kindle this bonfire. I think it's an absolutely idiotic move not to. I also do think that this gamepad is also a bit shit. I'm still using it. I'm gonna tough it out. It's part of the challenge. But I think we'll get there. I think we will get there. All right. Ten Estus, I can, hand I can handle this. I know I can. Look at my skinny white ass. You see this skinny white twink and you think, oh my god, this man, he can do this. Oh, I forgot about Mildred. I forgot about Mildred. That's not good. Ah! Hi, Mildred. How are you? Diva, Slay, Hunty? Right. D ah! Diva, what did you leave me? If that despawns, I'm gonna cry. This is, this is, this is, this is tough. This is really hard. This is a really hard run. I think this is going to have me reassessing a lot of my, uh, my thoughts moving forwards. Okay, so they just instantly run towards me. There's nothing I can do about those guys. Yeah, she's not here anymore. Whatever Mildred was supposed to drop is gone. I don't- I don't know what that means for me. I don't know if that means I can- I can get back what- what she left or not. I'm a- I'm a little panicked in that sense, actually. Iron Golem, round two. A 
I'm going to lock in. And I'm just going to take this one swing at a time. Same thing I did with Seath. And we are going to just go for it. Right. I killed Seath. You know what? For me, that should be a rallying cry. Like, damn, this is the guy that killed Seath. He can handle the Iron Golem. He handled Seath. Just got to go through the legs. Play it safe. Play it safe. Play it safe. Play it safe. Billy, play it safe. We are not losing here today. Okay. I think the first the first round I was I was a little panicked. Right now I'm feeling locked in. I'm feeling galvanized. I'm feeling stronger. I want to get him away from that little hill cuz I do not I do not want him on a hill cuz then I can't roll through his legs. I need him on like a flat plane of existence. Like that. Like that. Like that. Done. There we go. That is how you do it. First Bell of Awakening. Cleric Leggings. That's great. I love Cleric Leggings. I love Cleggings. Great. Thanks, Bestie. And how many souls? 20,000 souls. That is gorgeous. That's going to get me some level ups. Because I'm going to have to spend it on level ups. I need to get my stats up. I'm not skilled enough to do soul level 1 runs, so... Oh, I just realized I might actually have to explore the regular demon ruins because I need items and there's a chance that some items I need are down there. Fuck, okay. Good thing is, we have rung a bell. Ring my bell. And we have a homeward bone, that's nice. Can't tell if there's anybody down there in the demon ruins yet. I don't know if we'll be able to tell who ceaseless discharge is until we go into the boss room, but I am kind of curious, and I think it's a pretty safe boss to try and figure out. Well, as I recover from beating the Iron Golem, how exciting is that? Have you considered subscribing to the channel? We are trying to hit 35,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and if that interests you and you want to help us out, be sure to parry that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my future content. Or consider becoming a channel member. It's $4.99 a month. It gets you early access to my future videos. A shout out at the end of the video and in the description. It's pretty cool. Back to it. I'm a new servant, Yas. I'm a new servant. Please move, friend. Ooh, I am the newest of the servants. Hi, madam. Hi, madame. You know what? Let's go out and have a quick look at the demon ruins. You know, I haven't even been recording an hour yet. A lot of this is going to be montaged. I've got time. I've got time to see what the heck we're dealing with down here. A lot of the enemies that, to me, will probably be annoying are probably going to have been replaced. So I can only see this as, as a positive. None of these are going to attack me, right? Because they're friends. They're friends. Like that red vagrant isn't gonna just up and murder me. No. Cool. Oh, I'm scared. All right, let's go the long way. Who are we dealing with? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? It's, it's Quaylag! Oh my God, a queen! Diva. Okay, that's good. Okay. I can handle Quaylag. That is interesting, though. We've had two Quaylags. I kind of thought that it was going to be like all of the bosses were going to be jumbled up and every boss was going to be reused. I wasn't expecting, like, a second Quaylag because we already had a Quaylag. So maybe, you know what, we can, we can make this into a story. Like, OG Quaylag from the... Uh, Quaylag from the, uh, from the, the, the Undead Berg, you know, she fell off. She fell off and she landed down here, you know? And now that she's down here, we have no choice but to take her on. Because 
what else are we gonna do? Whoa! But this is, like, for me, the perfect arena. It is weird not, like, hearing any of her, like, sound effects, though. And also the fact that, like, she totally could accidentally jump off of the edge again. And I would find it so fucking funny if she did. Quay, like, you have the opportunity to do the funniest thing. The funniest thing. So I still can't survive the AoE. I still can't survive the AoE. That is not a problem. Quaylag is fucking easy. I am not worried about her in the slightest. I wonder if maybe she's been reused because of the the caveat in the randomizer that like you have to use, you have to replace bosses with bosses that can fit into the arenas of other bosses. So maybe there are some boss arenas where you just can't really change the boss or something. I don't know. As I said, I was kind of just hoping that it wouldn't just be Quaylag and Quaylag. I thought, okay, I've killed Quaylag, so I'm not going to face Quaylag again. You know, that sort of thing. Oh lord, here she comes. Actually terrifying. Ah, I see. The issue now is that Quaylag gets to us before we can get back to the big part of the boss arena. So my goal right now should be trying to lure her back to the big part of the boss arena and also dodging her attacks correctly because that's just something that I feel like I could be better at. Diva, donde esta? Quelag? 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 Are you stuck? Yeah, yeah you are. Are you coming? Are you, are you gonna come over here? Okay, well I'm not coming over there, so... See Diva, we have an issue. I need you, I need you to come over here. I really need you to come over here. I can't fight you over there, honey. Oh, she can't go through there. Shit, okay, that's a problem. I'm gonna, uh, it's gonna be another, uh, another, asi not asylum, Taurus demon situation. I have to fight her on the narrow area because there's, there's no way for her to, there's no way for her to move towards me. That is very frustrating. Shit, no, no. Oh, I have enough, I, 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 fuck off. Fuck off, fuck off. Two AOEs, three AOE. I was, I was put in a position where her AI couldn't do anything else, damn. I mean, if you want to be like this, I will, I will take full advantage. You do scare me, but I am not gonna, Look, a gift horse in the mouth. Oh, and she's gone. And she's gone. Great. Great. And she left. She said goodbye. Quaylag, I'm sorry. This was not your run, honey. This was not your experience. This was not what you wanted from life. I respect that. I'm sorry that you had to go through this twice. Jumping off into the void twice. Diva, honey, slay, mother. I feel for you. That being said, I am going to take this victory and I'm going to quickly 
head on down into the demon ruins and see what the fuck we are dealing with down there. Because I think I could grab the bonfire down there. I think I could grab items down there. There is normally an enemy over here. Oh, it's a, it's it's Havel's Great Shield. All right, if I wanted to continue running around as a shield build, I have the option to now. There's no, there's no point in this. I can't get either of these items right now. I need the orange shard ring, but the orange shard ring probably isn't going to drop from the monster that we think it's going to drop from. So that's fun. That just made me realize I can't really go through regular Lost Isolith later until I have the orange shard ring, which makes me think I might have to do the farming 30 humanity to get through the uh, Solaire shortcut strategy. Which I'm sure is, a, is, a, is is valid. It's gonna be difficult. I think we could do it. After this recording, I'm gonna give myself a lovely break. Oh, it's one of those guys from the, uh... Oh, bone wheel. Okay, there's a bone wheel down there. There's an item down there, which I would like. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to work my way around to that bonfire at some point. I just don't want to stay at it, you know? Beautiful. I think if I recall, I got the cage key in a, in a previous episode, in the previous episode, right? If I did, then at least I have access to the send shortcut if I ever need that. That's nice. It's nice having access to certain things. Uh, since there's a bone wheel down there, I am gonna... Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink my, drink my drinky drink. Strike you, strike you, strike you, dodge from you, strike you. Block you, strike you. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, okay. I don't need that bonfire. I thought I did, but I don't. Whew. I'm so nervous. I want to just tell you guys, I am so nervous right now because... Is that you? Are you the one making the weird noises or is there a basilisk down there? Bit of both, I think. All right, let's, let's just, let's play it safe. I, I managed to block most of the damage. Done. Okay, cool. You're dead. There we go. Bone wheel dead. I am praying, 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 praying that this is a good item. Soul of a hero golem gauntlets. It is not. Okay. Maybe lighting you is a bad idea. I don't know. I'm gonna do it because I believe I can fight my way out of this area pretty easily. I'm more worried about going down here, to be perfectly honest with all of you. Because we have a rat. We have a bone wheel. We have an archer. We have a clam. Okay, this is fun, isn't it? Aren't we having fun? Oh, you're a strong one. You're stronger. Oh, no, you're not. Okay, no, you're not. I was just panicked. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. Woo! I am having a day right now. The good thing about the Vagrant is that it's it's only up there. I only need to get over there. So I can ignore them for now and go down this little path. We can see what's where the where the ember usually is. We can see uh We can see if there's something worth collecting. There better be. 
There should be. I, I just, I need some positive news right now. Got a few painting guardians here, which you know what? I will take two painting guardians and a big mushroom. Honestly, not the worst thing in the world. What are you? That's a necromancer, right? Yeah. All right, and you, we're just gonna take nice and slow. No point in risking anything. Oh my God, oh, oh, I didn't see you, I didn't see you. Holy shit, that would have been bad. I mean, I'm still on like no health, but like, oh, do I have anything that I can heal with? I think I have, I have a humanity. Use a humanity, just heal up, just heal up, Billy. Do not focus on the bad. Focus on the fact there is a chest right there that you can loot that will have an item in it. Wait, 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 wait. It's real. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Maidenhood. Cool. Love that. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I needed. That is everything I have ever wanted in this game and more. Shit, there's an item up there. I didn't see it. <gasps> I'm not getting bothered by everything as I try and grab it. Oh my god. The, 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 the clam jump scared me. I'm not gonna lie there. That I kind of forgot it was there and I had a little little jump and I'm ooh. Soul of a brave warrior. Okay, that was nothing. I think that is the... It just... There's a giant tree. It's one of the fake trees. That's great. Oh, that's fucking funny. All right. That, that's, that's put a smile on my face. All right. That's the only item I need. That is the only item I need, and then I can leave. I can go back up to Blight Town. I can't leave without that item. I cannot leave without that item. Cast light. That was not worth it. That was not worth it. And dead. Okay, cool. No problem. Okay. So I have had what I would consider to be a very productive episode. Didn't think it was going to be at the start. Thought it was going to be a bit of a mess. Uh, let's just make our way back to the start of the Demon Ruins, and then I will end off the episode there. But I am very satisfied with where we're at. I killed two bosses. One of which was someone whom I wasn't expecting to see again, which is always fun. I am getting attacked by absolutely everything, which is another classic Dark Souls moment. I'm dead again. I might have to montage this one too because I'm running out of um, energy to speak.
let's head on back over to the Daughter of Chaos, and from there, we can end the video. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to parry that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all my future videos. A massive shout out to all of my YouTube channel members for supporting me. You can see their names on screen now. They support me $4.99 a month. And you get early access to my videos. So you get a shout out at the end of the video and in the description. And my social media links are on screen. Feel free to follow where you feel comfortable. I recommend my Twitter or my Discord. My Twitter is the best place to follow me personally, as that is just a, a good place. Well, it's not a good place to be, let's be real, but it's better than nothing. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.